now we have to go to Man City and when like I when we cannot drop every, any single point from now to the end of the season if we want to win this league. Is that gonna happen? No, because once Libo got injured, what that showed me was that first and foremost, Gabriel he so he is in need of Saliba because what that shows to me is that his defensive performances while Saliba was not injured has come from the fact that he's been in competition with Saliba to get it. But now he knows that Rob Holden is his pairing. It's his centre-back pairing. He's like, there's no competition there. So mentally, he's shit. I do think he was at fault for that second goal because as much as it was a good pass from Alcaraz, I don't think that he should be allowing a 32-year-old Walcott to score from there. And Aaron Ramsdale, you know, he's a bit of a geezer, bro. Let's have it right. You can tell he's a, he's a proper geezer, bro. You know, he, he you meant to set a tone, yeah, from the beginning. She said, this is our intent. He probably looked at, my theory is, yeah, my hypothesis is that he looked at De Gea yesterday, the other day, and said, ah, right, cool, let me show De Gea how it's done, how to pass from the ball. Because there was absolutely no need, actually, if you look at the goal again, there was absolutely no need for Ramsdale to try and pass to Shushoshenko when he had Gabriel on his left. Absolutely none. He just thought, you know what, let me try and show De Gea what it's like, what it, how it's actually passed. At least De Gea actually passed to Maguire. My guy didn't even reach him, bro. And I've said this in the past about Ramster that he has his cockiness that it's not allowed yet. You're not there yet. We haven't even got to Champions League yet, by the way. That's actually another thing that people have to realise. Like, I'm not going to say Arsenal going to lose all their games and whatnot, but that hasn't even been achieved, let alone win the title. Do you know what I'm saying? He's not a Champions League winner. He's not a Premier League winner. He's not even a, a Champions League... We're not a Champions League um, attendees, bro. I remember the time we just got knocked out of Europa League. Yeah, you don't have any right to act cocky, okay? But, cool, we let it go in, we let another go in, cool. And then Thomas Partey, bro, today was just... Not today, sorry. He was just, I've, I've, honestly, he's been... People have been talking about our inexperiencedness that has cost us. And it is inexperiencedness. But the inexperiencedness is coming from the experienced players. Does that make sense, bro? Because I thought Partey in the past couple of games... Poor Jesus yesterday got 1.44 xg, bro, and didn't get a single goal, bro. Single goal. And now, the, the most memorable one is when Martinelli, who by the way was sensational, bro, like our young wingers, him and Saka, just turned it up, bro. And they are meant to be the inexperienced ones, yet they are playing like champions. They are playing like champions. The mentality, the quality that they're putting on show, they're playing like champions. And it's the experienced ones, like Shevchenko as well. What are you doing at the back post? Man's huddling in the middle of the, of the park, trying to go get us and get Garvin out to play. Shut the fuck up, bro. You're the reason why we actually drew that game because why are you not at the back post defending your man? You looked at him about three times, touched his chest, bro, and he still beat you. The fuck, fam? I was so pissed off with him yesterday. I was so happy he was getting off because he did absolutely nothing in that game, actually. And when you look at it, you look at that game again and see what Strenka did. He had a couple of times where he hit a shot outside the box and he went over to Z. Like, he was just... He was shit. And then he just... Defensively, we need another left-back, bro. I can't lie to you. Because as much as he's good going forward, defensively, he's shit. Tierney, he's good in the back, but he's not good at the front going forward. So, yeah, it, we can't... We, we just... We don't have the best of both worlds right now. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's another thing that he's got to think about. But anyway, back to the game. And then Vieira, like, absolute passenger. You cannot afford a passenger in this title run, bro. I can't lie to you. Mika has to, to, has to take the L here because how is it, yeah? He wants to trust this man so much, bro. He wants us to trust him, but he hasn't performed to make us give him that trust. Do you know what I'm saying? He did absolutely nothing. And before people try to say, oh, we lost that game because Jacob wasn't playing, first and foremost, we don't know what the fuck Jacob would have done in that game because let's be real, I've always said that Jacob was a mid-ass player, fam. And yeah, he's done well this season. He's got great output this season. But what we needed was what Trossard bought yesterday. And he has to start against Man City. I don't know where, I don't know who gets dropped, but he has to start. He was very unfortunate to be dropped anyway. 
you know what I'm saying? Like, if it wasn't for Gabriel Jesus scoring from the get go, he would have probably been a starter. Do you know what I'm saying? So, this is the, he came on sensational. Martinelli, like I said, sensational. Odegaard was shit until like the 80th minute, and he scored a sensational goal. And he then brought on the captain's performance, tried to galvanize the team. And then Thomas Partey on the 98th minute. From about 35 yards, yeah, from about 30 fucking five yards, she tries to shoot. And you can literally hear the whole crowd saying no, but he just ignores the crowd. He ignores his captain. He absolutely gets pissed at him, bro, for that shot. And he just, like, doesn't no actually mean anything to this guy, bro. Like, on the real thing, bro, like, he really, really thought that God was going to give him the goal of the century, fam. Whilst he's a rapist, are you actually skunked in the head, bro? That's no, that was never gonna happen, bro. And he was so shit. He was shit against my West Ham. He was shit yesterday. And yeah, look, Arteta has said that he loves his players even more. I don't know where. Like, honestly, this draw doesn't mean anything to me. I, I, when, when we equalized, I didn't even celebrate. Like, I was just like, cool. Okay, let's see. You know? Jesus, oh man, as much as been, he's been sensational for us, yeah. But I hope everybody realizes now that the real reason Arsenal are in this position is Saliba. Saliba is a world class centre back. He has brought calmness to the defence. Every single time Southampton got the ball past the halfway line, it was looking mad, bro. It just looked like we were going to concede. And you know, if it wasn't for the fact that they were kind of like quality, it was still two easy goals, bro, to concede. And we've been conceding, we've conceded nine goals since his injury. Nine goals in five games. That is insane. Our home record, defensively, is shocking. I think only Southampton and they said the thing, I said, I think Southampton and Leicester that have a worse home record defensively in the league. And we're top of the league. But it's a saying, attack attack wins games, defence wins leagues. 